Victoria, you've done it again. Another insane location, completely different from any of our previous trips. Myself and Vit camped here on the Wellington River at Pardalote campsite for a night before we head up and over Mount Wellington tomorrow. In the morning, we wound our way up and out of the misty valley and before long, we were eye level with sweeping clouds. You know you're getting into some decent altitude when you get an influx of signs like this. We were here around mid-March with fair weather and we found it more than safe, but it's always good to be prepared. Onto Maroka range track and straight into a creek crossing. Gotta love that. Peeling onto the Mount Wellington track, we continued to work our way up with views of the summit in sight. I described this track as just rough. It wasn't too steep or rutted. Any vehicle with low range should be able to do it in similar conditions to this. We got spectacularly clear 360 views from the summit with the Avon Wilderness area to the east. Another half an hour down beyond the summit is Miller's Hut campsite. Situated amongst endless gums, it's an extremely peaceful place. The sites were pretty mushy, but we managed to nab a spot that was perched up a bit higher and was dry. After bulk struggles with wet wood, we ended up getting a fire kicking along and spent the rest of the night watching the fog roll in. Today we have our sights set on a hike out to see Lake Tally Khan. Rainbow gums, flowers, lizards, thousands of crickets and even a couple of snakes. This place feels very alive. beautiful views of the lake through the trees as we walk the steep descent down via Gilius track. The lake was flooded so we had to do some bush bashing around the outskirts of it to continue onto our next track. Rather than going out the same way we came in, we turn the walk into a loop with Echo Point track. This route adds a couple of k's, but it's less steep for the climb out of the lake. The way back was still definitely no walk in the park and was an uphill slog most of the way. As much as we had enjoyed the hike, we were pretty happy to be back at camp, kicking back for the rest of the night. Contrast is the spice of life. Every day. We've planned another hike out to the Sentinels today. You can drive this one, but it's extremely overgrown, so expect a lot of pinstriping. We probably would have driven it but it's a long weekend, so we weren't too keen on packing up camp and losing our spot. Today, we're 
Today was way less strenuous than yesterday's hike. It's pretty much fire roads through the gums most of the way, which rises and falls with the elevation of the ridge line. Coming to the final vista, we were met with thousands of wildflowers covering the ground and a view right across the valley lay beyond them. This is what we live for. Cheers for tuning in guys, I've got links to everything we did in the description below, I'll catch you in the next one.